Amberu from auxiliar.info and I'm going to show you how to use FTP with a website instead of FileZilla. Now I am at net2ftp.com but if you have a domain there's also um, file manager and you can use that too. I don't really use it so I'm not doing a tutorial on that one but I have used net to FTP before so here we go now for FTP server you are going to put FTP dot and then your website it also says right down here what to put so FTP dot server dot com same thing so FTP dot info and then your and then your username. If you're a domain, just put your username. Obviously, if you're a subdomain, put your username or your part of the URL at and then your hosting. Basically, it's just your URL. Except instead of a dot in the middle, you're going to put an at sign. That's like the only difference. So, like if you saw my subdomain tutorial, I had the tester subdomain. And, um, I lost track. Oh. Yeah, and if you're using, doing, logging in for that, you're going to put like test at auxiliar.info or something. Okay, but if you're doing, just put your regular username. Yep, okay. And if you got lost anywhere in here, just send me a message. And then the password. And then you can put in a directory in here, but you don't need to. If there's like a certain point you want to jump to when you log in. Alright. Usually it's already um, filled in, but the port, make sure it's 21. Because it's always 21. So, okay. And then click login. And then it should log you in. And if you're a domain, you're click on public HTML. That will go to your website type stuff. And if you're a cell domain, you will get something like this. When you log in, it looks something like that. Okay. Now, to create a new file, we are going to click New File button. Yay! That was so hard to figure out, right? Okay, click New File. Text Rada, rada, rada. Save. to save. Okay. And then you can blah blah blah. Save it again. Keep editing it over and over. As many times as you need. And then when you're done, just click the arrow. And then if there's pictures you want to upload or something. Um. Upload. I'm just going to pick a random picture. So. And then you're going to hit the check mark. And then the upload.
and then you're gonna go back. Yay! There's the file. Ooh. And then if you want to make a new folder, hit new directory. And you can make a bunch of them. Like if you want to make content, images, site, I don't know. And then hit the check mark. And they were free. Hit the back button. We'll go back. There you go, there's all your folders and stuff, and then you click on them, make some more files, stuff like that. Um, and then you click this, we'll go back up one directory. And then you can also copy, move, delete, rename your files. And if you have a zip file in here, you can unzip it. Or you can download a zip file from your computer onto here. Stuff like that. Um, it's really simple. Even more simple than FileZilla. Honestly, I don't really think you even need a tutorial. It's so simple. So, but that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, let me know on my Facebook or my YouTube or my site. Drop me an email. Whatever works for you. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave those too because I like to see those. Those are awesome. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. God damn it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.